Hi guys, welcome to Topic. Today we're going to be looking at the Wi-Fi capabilities of the new Nikon D750 and specifically we're going to be looking at an issue where by default the Wi-Fi connection on this camera is an open non-secured connection. So in other words anybody with a Wi-Fi capable smart device such as a phone or a tablet can if they're close enough to you connect to this camera and potentially download or steal some of your images on the camera. So let's take a look at how to set up your network connection to make sure that you have a password protected secure connection. Great, let's get started. Before we start setting up the network connection on the camera, we first need a smart device such as a phone or a tablet on which we can install Nikon's wireless mobile utility to connect and hook up to the camera and can control it. Great, so once you've done that, you can continue to the next step and that's switching the Wi-Fi connection on on the camera. Setting up the network connection on the camera is rather easy. All we do is we press the menu button, scroll all the way down to the setup menu, and scroll all the way to Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi, we just enable the connection, and if we go into network settings, you'll see we have three options to connect to a device. We have a push button WPS system, a pin entry WS connection, or just the old fashioned viewing the name of the device, finding it manually under your Wi-Fi connections on your smart device and just connecting to it that way around. So the first two options only work on Android capable devices. The third option here will work on iOS devices as well as Android devices. So I'll only be looking at the third option in this tutorial. So what we do there, that's the name of the device. So that's the name we have to find under our network um, options on a smart device. So let's see if that works and if we can find it. So there we go, now that we're set up and ready to go. I opened up my Wi-Fi options on my iPod. So under Wi-Fi I'm going to switch Wi-Fi on and you see right there under choose network I can see the camera at the moment, the device. So let's connect to that. So you see once I connect you can already see up there it's an unsecured connection. I do not get prompt for any passwords or so. And that is what the whole security concern is. That is an open, unsecured connection. So let's open up the app and see how we can fix that. So you see once it's open, up here in the left hand corner, we'll have a little antenna that shows that we're actually connected at the moment to the camera. We have our settings right there and then we can take photos or view photos. So let's go to the settings menu. Now the Android version of this looks slightly different and in here I'm going to enter the WMA settings option. So under here I can set up my authentication method and password. So let's first change authentication. Go back and they will ask us to enter a password. Great. So I guess now everybody will know my super secure password. There we go, done. Let's go back in settings. And now it will say we have to restart the whole adapter. So let's do that. Tap on done. You see at the moment I have no connection to my camera anymore. So I have to go back into my Wi Fi settings, find the network, and now it will prompt me for my password. So it's into my super secure password. There we go. We've joined. Let's go back into the app and see, there we go. Now we connected with a full secure connection. Now let's look at some functions of the app. First, let's tap on view photos. So here, I can actually view the photos currently on the camera and I can view JPEGs and NEFs and I can simply tap on any of the images and I can drag around and tap on the image to actually zoom in and do a quick inspection. So you can see how this will help quite a lot on set. So you can view basic information about the image by just hitting on the eye in the bottom right hand corner to select the image with 
tap on the little tick or when we go back in the menus and we select the select option we can actually select multiple images and actually download them to our device as well. If I was going to tap on done, got, scroll one back and under take photos in here we can take control over the camera. I can move the camera around and we can focus on different areas in the image by simply tapping on our screen. This is really great. Unfortunately this app doesn't allow us full control over the camera so we can't change the shutter speed and apertures, or ISO settings, but still at least we have full control over focus and we have live view that you can see what's happening and to take a shot as easy as just clicking on the button down there. And then it also downloads it straight to your device. So that is surely super handy and I hope you get it easily set up on your camera and smart device and you get great results with that.